Every National Guard member in Kentucky has been called into service, 4,600 strong. They are checking on rural residents door by door. But wait, they have a generator too. It is the worst natural disaster in the state's history. More than 5,000 utility workers have been working around the clock, but there are still more than 255,000 homes and businesses without power in Kentucky. In neighboring Arkansas, 119,000. The ice storm's devastation reaches into Missouri, Indiana, Ohio, and Oklahoma as well. Well, it looks like where bombs went off. You know, you see everything's down, trees are down, power lines, even poles and everything's down. Near Crane, Kentucky, Bill and Gwen Wilson have been living without power for a week now. They wear their coats around a natural gas fireplace for warmth and use a barbecue grill in the tool shed for a stove. And it may not be a perfect meal, but we have, <laughs> we have a meal. But Gwen is on her last tank of oxygen that she needs at night. It's all right. I'm still breathing. And Bill is starting to miss the little things. Uh, convenience. Taking a bath would be one good thing. Seven days after the storm, towns like Marion are still completely without power because in this county alone, the ice storm brought down 300 power poles. I've been here 30-something years. And this is worse than we've had by far. It could be several more days until main streets like this one get their lights turned back on. The governor of Kentucky has already reached out to President Obama and is asking for additional federal dollars to bring his state back to life. Maggie? Harsh Srinivasan, thank you.